Hello gamers and welcome back to the Thunderdome. I'm just kidding. <laughs> this is no Thunderdome. This is the Sleepy Sama late night bonus coffee dog stream. <laughs> welcome in, welcome in to anyone who is hanging out. Um, after this morning's stream, I was going back and forth in my head on whether or not to do a bonus stream of this tonight. And the funny thoughts won. <laughs> and so here we are. I was really enjoying playing this earlier. And so I really wanted to play more of it right off the get-go. Same day, same similar timing scheme words but <laughs> um because i also don't know how much more of the game we have left um and i'm really curious to see where things go especially with where we left off this morning with the random bald man showing up in his little little outfit i was like oh the hoops age 47 who what hello Men in Black? Are you here to wipe my memories of something? Um, but yeah. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. I had a oh, wonderful day today. Um, I spent most of the day just kind of cleaning up. <laughs> I did laundry, did some dishes, and just kind of hung around. Just did not do a whole lot of exciting activities, but hey, I got some things done today and I was productive. So that is a win-win. Alrighty. Let me... Goodbye music. Goodbye, goodbye. Ding dong. Here we are. And then... Let me show you let my side. Hello? Video game? Oh, there it goes. Goodness. <laughs> Had me going there for a moment. Toge Productions. I'm also gonna try playing with just mouse and keyboard tonight. Um, just see how that goes. I feel like it'd be simple enough. Game progress. It's about how much, how much further we have of the game, or like... How does that work? I don't know. Immediate. Immediately we're back with the bald man. Oh. I'm from the Federal Immigrant. Why? Why? Stop. Stop it. Stop. Why is it auto? No. Why are we auto? Cat. 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 I gotta, I gotta stop it. I gotta make it stop. Can you load? Whoa! You can load days. That's cool. Huh. Um. Interesting. Main menu. I don't know what was happening there, but we're gonna go back to the main menu. Why do you highlight no first? That's one of the stupidest things in video games. Okay. Let's try that again. Good evening, sir. Hello. That's why that was set. Are you like. Yep. Why is it being weird? Also, Mr. You have got to get down or lay down. Mwah. You can't just sit at sit in my lap and stare at me and bonk me with your little head. You silly. But you're vaguely in the way, and I'm so terribly sorry. I love you. Okay. So let's try this again. <laughs> Welcome. Good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division, or FIRE for short. Mm -hmm. Thank God. 
The, is that say the GIB? The GIB? Like the FBI? <laughs> How may I help you? Why is it doing that? That's really weird. We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. Uh oh, Neil! We take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Doodle, hi! How do you go live the second I go downstairs to clean up? <laughs> You're totally good, Doodle, no worries. You've literally missed nothing. I've just begun. Um, and I've been struggling with the video game because it keeps wanting to auto um, progress the dialogue when I'm not ready. Um, this man is with, um, hold on. This man is with the Federal Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division, or FIRE for short. He's here due to some reports of alien sightings in the area, aka the spaceman from earlier. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm. I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit. Something similar to that. <laughs> Nervous sweat. That's. Uh, pretty eye catching outfit. You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know. That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for your help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. We'll, we'll do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving? We We're good. Take care on your way. Jeez, it's not the feds showing up right out the gate. Also, Doodle, uh, like I said before, it's good to see you, and I hope you're doing well and the best that you can be. I hope you've had a... I hope your day has been getting better. Let's say that. I was gonna say, I hope you had a good day, but I know you were feeling well. Phew. You really need to be more careful, Neil. If you, I gave up on blue and green Pokemon party. <laughs> you did. <laughs> How come? I thought you had them all figured out. Oh, Aqua. Hey. Oh. And Myrtle. I'm okay. Just a little bummed out today. I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad to see you here. Even though, do know you are not obligated to be here if you're not feeling well, or in general. But you know what I mean. Thanks, Sama. Yo. Hello, Miss Aqua, Miss Myrtle. Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. Uh, okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? And I just wasn't really having fun with it. Okay, that makes sense. No worries whatsoever, Doodle. Follow your heart. Do what you feel is best, my dude. So, green tea with a lot of mint. So, tea, mint, mint. Green tea. Mint, mint. Brew. Ooh. Mara Marrakech? I also caught a shiny Gumi, and that's one of my favorite shinies. Oh, that's so good to hear! Hell yeah, dude! Your drink's ready. Ooh. This looks really fresh. I call this Marrakech, inspired by its origin. Oh, that was me. I call this Marrakech, inspired by its origin. Marrakech in Morocco? I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try, then. Can I get my Breloom after you, Speepy? Absolutely you can! Of course! 
She has spores, so I think it's fitting. You absolutely can. I would love and be honored to be named. Um, to have your, to be like, have, share a name with your brain loom. There we go. Words. <laughs> I have a green tea myself, but it's a citrus green tea, and it's a lovely. It's very good. It's warm, but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. How about you, Miss Myrtle? Do you want to order right away? Sure. I'll have the tetere. Uh, Do I have that? Do I have that save? Catch, fresh and healthy drink from Morocco, Midsummer Night's Dream, what's the vampire dude? Sweet and memorable like summertime in the Smoky Way. Adorable, sweet and cool like outer space. Fresh tea. Ooh. The Tetarek. You're holding a toxic orb that poisons you, but it's okay because you heal from poison? Hey! <laughs> I'm unhinged and unwell. No one will mess with me. <laughs> what is... I'm gonna Google what this drink is. Like, in actual, real world. Tartaric. Over there, hot milk tea beverage. Well, it's commonly found in restaurants, outdoor stalls. Okay, it's... It's Asia. Or Asian, I'm trying to say. Within the Southeast Asian countries of Malaysia, Indonesia, Singapore, and Thailand. Okay. So it's just hot milk tea. So it's just that just be milk and tea. Well, what's the ratio? Sir, I see that you're back. Lay in my lap. If you're gonna be up here, you gotta lay in my lap. Okay, so if it's milk tea, would it be two parts, two parts tea, or two parts milk? I usually want to try, like, my my go-to is thinking that it's going to be milk milk tea, or like one part, oh sorry, it's going to be one part tea, two part milk. That's what my go-to is, and usually when I think my go-to, it's wrong. So I'm going to try this one first, tea tea milk. Hey, noise. Here's your. Te I'm still so confused on how to say this. Tetaric. Huh. Is there some, um, Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be. Actually, the taste is really authentic. Just like the tetaric you get in Southeast Asia. Thank you for the compliment. Where did you learn to make it? I traveled around Southeast Asia a few years ago. Damn, wish that were me. So you learned about it in Malaysia? Yeah, and from videos on the internet. Hee <laughs> hee, I made her laugh. So, um... How are things going in the office? As usual. Tiring. But thanks to you and your team, we've made some good progress with a problem we've been stuck on for a while. I'm glad I could be of help. It's not every day our research can have an impact as direct as this. 
Only a few weeks after pub publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime to make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh. I want to say, please don't forget to rest. But I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and the team. Ha! <laughs> As if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, we'll say. Please see your family and get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive aggressive move. We'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. But you'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. I wish I could help you. Or at least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you the advice you, that you need. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. Even for things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry. But it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. Aww. I'm sorry I ruined the mood for everyone. She's so cute. Don't worry about it, Aqua. I'm not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. And we're already used to it. So don't you worry about me, okay? Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be a norm. Hey, shut up. Remember, your research helped us out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. I should game doing, by the way. Actually, I have some good news about it. What is... What is it, if I could finish the sentence? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West. Hey, I see. I see what you did there. This year. That's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organiz uh, organizer. Why? Confirm it. Fast. Before they give your spot to another indie. I... I'm just not sure about it. I'm stopping you. Cost? The booth is free for indies. That's good then. And the event's even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. I... I'm not that confident. You passed the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken. The judges are usually prolific people in the industry, and also senior journalists. I know. But I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional. What is it? And thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting full metal conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know. And you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't stupid. What if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. <sighs> oh my. That was a big old sneeze, hun! <laughs> you good? <laughs> you look confused after that. Even after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah. Being that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight. Showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. You know what? Huh? So far, my schedule is pretty empty around then. No! 
terrible. If things stay this way until Max, I'll come with you. No, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free, then you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's gonna bother. I'll be going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. What about your company's booth? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But... But... I'm coming with you. Whether you like it or not. Okay. <laughs> Good. Now, what are you doing? Uh, what are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? Expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Or sorry, I read that weird. You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that's the plan. No. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now, let's see. Whoops. Is it Neil? Or it's probably Freya in it. Oh, it's Rachel! Haven't seen her in a bit. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Samma. Hmm. What's well, wrong? Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day, and I'm pretty tired. Are you having a concert soon? Don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at uh, Couchella next week. Why are you sneezing? Why do you sound so snotty? Progress the dialogue. I'm pressing the button. Progress. There it goes. There's still any new performers? Yeah, you might say that these announced this late are backups. Oh, but it's still the biggest festival in the country. Yeah, and I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink, something sweet. What do you want to order? A sweet hot chocolate. What, what kind of a, what do you mean by sweet hot chocolate? Hmm? Hmm? You want like... Okay, so clearly like chocolate for the base, right? Right? And then... What are we thinking? We're thinking like... Some honey? You don't got any sweetness? It doesn't. We need milk for hot chocolate, so... She said sweet hot chocolate, so... Mm. I want unsweet hot chocolate. I want some bitter as fuck hot chocolate. <laughs> I'm still trying to like get the hang of like the order of things because that oddly counts in this game. <laughs> what about honey? And milk, I guess. Beep beep beep. Yes. Choco bean miru mi miruku. Here's your drink. Oh, it looks very pretty. It matches your vibes. And it's warm and sweet. I love it. Please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything else. Thanks. Back to the lesbians. Other than the instruction on the loading screen, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's but in case there's a good reaction to it, you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't wanna make them wait too long. That makes sense. 
if you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. That should get people's attention. Noted. Who the hell now? Freya? Dad? Oh! Papa! What are you doing here? After what you did at the studio this evening. I was worried. I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio. So I thought you'd be here. But we... But we can not just limit ourselves to this place. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Sama. We didn't mean to cause you any tr troubles. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Is that his tiny, tiny little cell phone? I'm just not realizing. Well, anyway, I better order something. Uh, what are you having? What would you recommend? May I suggest a cup of Spanish, uh, Spanish Sahara? Uh, Sahara? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Do I make it exactly like that? Chocolate, milk, ginger? Or would it be chocolate, ginger, milk? Sounds delicious. I'll take that Spanish sa uh, Sahara. Sahara. Words. Spanish Sahara. So, you said chocolate... Chocolate, milk, and ginger? Eh? Mm. Let me see. Well, oh, there it goes. Chocolate, milk, and ginger. The fact that it says it is exactly in that order, I'm going to go on a limb and say, hopefully that is correct. Chocolate, milk, ginger. Nice, okay, so... Is that like a churro in there? Oh my. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. Why am I yawning? This is amazing. Glad you like it. Dad. Yes. Let's just come home after you finish your drink. Honestly, you leave that good for nothing pervert. The manager? I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He is not a good person. The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since you left, he's been growing his band, brand, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. I still have my informants in the industry. He hasn't changed much. But even he, if he has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First, you were afraid of how many my, uh, how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You'll lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing. You're just too young to understand. Dude. <laughs> can make me understand. Because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from Mom? We were together for almost 15 years. But you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel, I... I'm sorry. But I'm trying, okay? Try harder! Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you, no one. I know. But give me a chance. You know what? It will take time for me to learn. But I am learning. Or, you know, I could return to the industry. Damn, she's pulling out all the stops. She really is. She's not holding her punches. I could try to be your manager. Hey! That's kind of an idea. 
if he's so worried because he has experience he he managed his own like um band before he knows people he has connections that's that's a thought honestly as long as he's not like um like hyper strict on her dad are you out of your mind you've been out of touch for so long i told you i have informants there i'm not that out of touch of course there are things i need to figure out but we it doesn't work that way dad you know that going from a girl band to a solo career won't be easy if i take things slow i'll lose all my momentum if you don't want me to be your manager, can you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester at, uh, is at the height of his career now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I've made my decision. Now, please go home. Relax. And don't ever come to the studio again. I'm going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away, and it's a big chance to lose my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I don't know. I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. That's... See you, Dad. Hey, Rachel. I see the lesbians are still having a good time. Anyway. Excuse me for a moment, Zemma. Okay, anyway. Hi, ladies. Um, so, about that game. <laughs> I'm sorry about what just happened. You don't have to apologize. Yeah, we were busy minding our own business anyway. What? You didn't hear their argument, Marlon? Of course I heard them. I just chose to ignore most of it. It's not my business, is it? That's amazing. What's so amazing about that? I don't think I can do that. Dividing and focusing my attention so completely. Especially when there is an argument like that. Are you saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead? Eh, no, I w was listening. I made notes. See, you didn't even realize. But you are capable of focusing your attention. And now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Yo, Sema, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, as usual. Please take care on your way home. Wet sounds. We're not gonna see Freya today. Hmm. I guess that's all for t Is it Neil? Oh, hey, you're back. Oh, you're back, Mr. Hendry. Are you all right, sir? Sir. Oh. Yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Mrs. Rachel? No. I lost her. Sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she's alright. I hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes. I your argument with Miss Rachel. Something kept bugging me. Is it about how he made a scene at the studio? What's that? Why did you leave the music industry? <laughs> now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago. Just as we were welcoming the beginning of the new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. And they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. I met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. I decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful. Oh, excuse me. 
I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing robots? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it's good. But what hit me hardest was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. The teenage girls especially. They were crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable things. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar lifestyle, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men. They were even worse. Huge. They sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. I wasn't even the target of the abuse. It haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. Really? I say as I have one snoozing away in my little lap. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for our little family. That's cute. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry? We visit my place from time to time, and we all meet up at at least once a year. Usually it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home with you. Are you gonna be alright by yourself? Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. I'm stronger than most people think. See you later, Sam. I'm sorry. Bringing our fight to your place. Don't worry about it. Alright then. Goodbye. I wanna see his cat form. A little old man cat with a cute and funny. Whoa, the Grinch. Green spicy enough to everyone's cup of tea. Interesting. So what would that be? Green tea cinnamon for spice? And then mint because there's a candy cane? I don't know. Alright. Took me a sippy. October 1st, 2020! <laughs> it's the meme! It's the little girl meme! Oh my god. Holy shit, dude. That's so fucking funny. The evening whispers. Thursday, October 1st, 2020. Couchella organizer reminds parents not to allow their children to attend unsupervised. Rachel Florencia confirmed to perform at Couchella 2020. Yelena and Maruki Harukami uh, to collaborate for a new IP. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, it's Neil. Oh, Neil, you come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There is definitely something that you can do. What is it? Can we work here? Excuse me. What? <laughs> She's little hands. Is it possible for us to work here? Wh why? We have learned something pre 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 has pre Human earthling words are very hard. We have learned something precious since we first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth, and Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. It blows our minds to learn that you need to mix between verbal and nonverbal communication here. Yes, but I can see that your communication skill has improved an awful lot since you arrived. That is true. But it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned. We learned them here. This made us think, instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. 
sounds like a good strategy. This is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Mm, I'm not sure about this. Neil, normally you are applying for a job on Earth. You have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job, if you get it at all. Oh, let me think this over if you don't mind, and I'll let you know tomorrow. Oh no, we are sorry for our spontane- sp how- how would- spon spontaneity? Spontaneous spontane- uh, Spontaneous question. But it is, has to be today. May I know why? Uh, is it because the FBI dude's after you? Oh no, okay. Because we are leaving for an event tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you! But with one condition. You won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you'll give the cup to the customer. Understood. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. They might come just for a drink, work, or to read something. I strongly, I strongly suggest you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can we know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy, but you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Nonverbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign. When you should start talking, or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well... That's basically all you need to do here. Do we need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron, though. To help keep your suit clean. And to differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation. But it'll make you look more legit for the job. That is a very earthling thing to do. Could I please see him put this silly little apron on over his, um, spacesuit? It is. All right then. Are you ready for this? We are. Okay. Let's start the night. Whoa. Welcome. <laughs> Holy wow. What the hell is happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Sam, what's going on here? Well, Neil is working here tonight. And I thought I was the one who brought bad, bad news. I never thought this place would be ground zero. For an alien evasion. <laughs> it's not that. Neil is just helping out. You've never looked like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the way other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we are currently the person who is getting help from the barista. Not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived, and we came to a conclusion. Before starting another breeding mission, we should learn more about how earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. And you just agreed to this? On one condition. I make the drinks. Neil will only be here to serve and communicate. Fair trade. What's in it for you then? What? You're helping them here. What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. Don't mention it. Well, maybe you can be my next story. I can write an article about your work here. Pray, uh. I still need to write for the paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Oh. Is that why you didn't come yesterday? 
Yeah. How did she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with the higher up? It was in the elevator, right? Yeah. The same thing happened with my chief. They met each other in the lift, and the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. Oh. The chief called me into her office, and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lately. She didn't like it, of course. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. And after that? Hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Rhea. But we feel the human sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. Huh? You're allowed to do that? We will pay for the drink. No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do according to our senses. It was. So, what do you want to drink, Miss Rhea? Your favorite. Our favorite. Anything. I trust you with the decision. Oh. Interesting. So... Spanish Sahara, Sahara, whatever. How do you make the Milky Way? Milky Way. What if I just made this? That's a uh, Neil's drink. She's working on her novel. Sir, please let go of my, my sleeve. Sir, please, I beg you. You're so stinky and cute. Does she want your favorite or Neil's favorite? She just said... I don't know. Because that's what I thought, is that she wants Neil's favorite. Uh, Your favorite, our favorite, anything. I trust you to the decision. So I'm like... I don't know what my favorite is. I don't know if that's like an actual canonical thing that like the barista has a favorite. Not that I'm aware of, so like... I'm just gonna go with the Neils. It was milk, honey, mint, right? Milky Way? Milky Way! Oh, it's Neil's arm! That's so funny! <laughs> Servant bud. Here is your drink. Especially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is gonna brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks. 
But today, I might have an idea why. What does that mean? What? I'm confused, anyway. How far along are you with the novel? I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that I... Now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines, after... And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood, that sounds doable. Even without the caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about Earthlings bodies. About all the races. And we do not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. Something warmth equals comfort. Something something. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Ugh. So then, does that imply that we should have made it with co made or made her something with coffee? I don't know. If she said anything, so would there really be a wrong? I don't know. I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil. Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh. We are glad to hear that, then. It was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. At least we are here now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Freya, if we may ask, ask away. How fast do you write? Not oh, fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm. I don't think I have the exact number, but full time. I should be able to write that between three and five thousand words per day. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. I usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between fifty and a hundred thousand. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. That is a pleasant information to hear. How many words do you need to write? Let's see... I think it should be around 15,000 words. That's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's a GRA media. Or it's GRA media. The biggest publisher around. If we count based on the number of words, it seems like you will be able to achieve your target easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't only the... Uh, only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things outside the mere word, uh, mere word count. If we only judge writers by their ability to write a large number of words, then we wouldn't have a poetry or short stories. That is pretty hard to understand. But we learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter, even for Earthlings. Yup. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand. From languages to arts. Right then. But you're not the wrong uh, not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing. But it's still up there. So it is still a valid parameter? Definitely. Google! <laughs> that didn't sound at all like you, Neil. I guess you really are learning something about Earth. Oops. Oh, another customer. Oh, Myrtle! What's up? Good evening, Miss Myrtle. I won't even ask. <laughs> Except for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. Coffee with a little bit of ginger. Okay, so like two coffee and then a ginger? Yeah? Man, that's bitter. Q. 
cute. Oh, it's still so funny that it's Neil's arm. Jahi Tupruk. Well, here you go. Here's your funny little drink. Your order is ready. Not bad. Thanks. You are welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Miss Neil, simply come to the coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed. Oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visits here. Actually, I'm not here to just sit without being disturbed. Huh? Pardon us. I was just training Neil in how to talk to customers here. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid? Er. <laughs> oh! No, we are not. We are tasked with er learning how earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion. If you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen. Which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve. But we will try. Step by step. One small step for you. Might be one giant leap for your kind. Hey, I see what you did there. That was nicely said, Miss Rhea. By the way, Miss Myrtle, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Is it Aqua? Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh-huh. What's the occasion? No special occasion. It's just... That's Aqua. Hi, girly. I'm sorry. I'm late. I was supposed to leave early, but... What? What is this? What is happening here? I already told the barista that... Oh, barista... <laughs> I already told the barista to call the cops when he said he was going to read here. Where's Sama? Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. Uh, okay. Please let me take a breath. Here, please drink this water. Poor Aqua's about to hyperventilate. Feeling better now? Yes. I'm sorry. It is alright, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. What are you doing here, anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. No problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for our break anyway, so here is the deal. I love that this game fades the black to explain things. <laughs> He's just joined them at the counter. God's so fucking goofy. That's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Sima. It's nothing, really. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not! But we do not want to disturb this place's business for any longer. Uh, as if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Couchella! <laughs> what? What are you going to do at Couchella? According to our research, there are many <laughs> There are many breedings happening during Couchella. That is why we decided that the event will be our next target. Well, you're not wrong. But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes, we noticed that. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about Earthlings, including the breeding manners. That is why that is what we will be studying in Coachella. After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female earthlings. I shouldn't say this, but hell. That sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. We know! 
We are delighted and full of piss. <laughs> Every time their fucking little space helmet glows like yellow for joy or when they're happy, it just looks like pee. It looks like their helmet's full of pee. We also surprised ourselves. <laughs> piss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, his helmet when it glows yellow it looks like it's full of piss but please Miss Freya let us stop talking about our plan we work here today first let us return to our spot behind the bar so our discussion with Miss Myrtle has stopped abruptly oh yeah I forgot about that what are you two doing together it's nothing. We're just friends, you know. Are you? Are you just friends? Are you? Is that not what it is? You're not just friends, lesbians. You're. You're. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. We just want to hang out and talk about our work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yes. Yes. That's it. I don't have that much experience in game development. You see. Gay shifty eyes. I know she's not fooling anyone. And the way she blushes when she talks to Myrtle, like, girl, you're so down bad. I thought your research was in computer graphics. Yes, but I've never made a game for, uh, from scratch before. I was always a bystander, so I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time. Today, I wanted to thank her directly, uh, but she arrived first. So I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But... Wait... If you want to thank her directly... Does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be your, but not your. Neil, you're breaking the fourth wall. Oh. So you are correcting my grammar now, huh? There's a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> this is so strange. How did you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like my, I'm, what I'm saying is written down anywhere. <laughs> They're breaking the fourth wall. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So, you're done with your game? There's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix. But all players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case, most of my advice is about the pacing, control, and UI, UX. Ugh. It must be fun to have finished working on your creation. It surely removes some of the weight on my chest. Just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. And if I can't finish the draft in time, I'm done. And even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, I'm even more done. Doubly done. Done squared, if you will. I'm sorry to hear that, Freya. But please be more confident. You're the one to talk, Aqua. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. And then I read some of the stuff you wrote. They're really good, you know. Some of them are better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. So I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. You're too kind, Aqua. What you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle is going through. So I'm sure you'll both be fine. Ugh. You don't have to talk about it in front of other people. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It's just that it's sharing is caring, you know? Okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I really am sorry. I know, I said thanks already, right? 
But you put so much emphasis on share. That's sarcasm, I know it. Ugh, aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded that way. But yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Although it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. I've been working on something for two years straight, but no one outside of the office knows about it. And those who do, don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Metal Conflict had a new game every two years. Yeah. I don't really work on them. Not directly. So, what do you work on? A secret po project. I'll tell you under friend in friend DA. <laughs> I'll tell you under friend DA, okay? Alright. I'm not with the paper anymore. Anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. We need to be able to make a prototype for a new IP. Or worst case, another M FMC game in a different genre. Isn't that a dream job for some people? <laughs> That's what I thought, at first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't polish anything you- Oh, publish. But you can't publish anything you write. For years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. My team has been making pitches. Dozens of them. Hundreds. Thousands even. Out of all those countless pitches, only a handful got approved for prototyping. And so far, none of them prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. The seven samurai. That's what they said. So, you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others. When they're going through a crunch cycle, they need to hit a possible target. They jump in. No wonder you folks were considered the Seven Samurai. I guess, yeah. By the way, Myrtle, I just realized. What? Usually, the developers get their vacation time after finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had a vacation? Before I joined this company, I guess. Jeez, <laughs> dude. That's like four years ago. Uh huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burnt out. Yes, that's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. You will take tomorrow, the day after, and another day off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey. Hey. Okay. I'd be burnt out like three days in. Mood. <laughs> but I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend to get away, right? Hmm. Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, Aqua. You look like a different person. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now. And prepare for our getaway. That's real gay of you, you know? Two... Just... Fellas, is it straight for two girls who just met to go on a little weekend getaway with each other? To avoid burnout from their prospective jobs? Or to ease burnout, I guess? I'll come with you. Ooh. Uh, to my apartment? No, damn. It's not gay? Damn. No, we'll walk together to the bus stop, just like last time. Oh. Uh, okay then. Damn, Aqua was. like. Aqua, you're so gay. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. May you find joy during your vacation! <laughs> Yeah, it is gay. <laughs> okay, see you folks later. Nice.
guys. Vacation, huh? You definitely need one, Freya. I know. Not now. Gotta finish this first draft. As we have said before. You can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Do you think we'll ever see what Neil looks like outside of his suit? Like, like he'll take his mat, his helmet off or something? Or not. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please, take your time. Are you sure? Do you want another drink to be going on with? Still in the house. I definitely won't say no. Can I make you another one? Oh. No, it stays on during breeding! <laughs> Black lemon. Perfect, if unlikely, combination of sour and bitter. <laughs> I love this game. It's fucking goofy. The moon has been changing! I just noticed! It's a full moon now! Wait, is it actually- wait, hold on. Let the clouds move. I'm waiting. Is it actually a full moon? It is! Isn't it like full moons are a thing for werewolves? So will we see Gala today? October 2nd. The Evening Whispers! Friday, October 2nd, 2020! The Evening Whispers is the is with the people for stricter gun laws. New healthier fur... Fury. Almost said furry. New healthier fury sedative might be available sooner! Action video game! Rising Hell! Blame for violence in school! Welcome. Oh, it's Bailey's. Good evening, Mr. Bailey's. Evening. Am I the first customer tonight? You are. That's new. Yeah? Freya's not here? She said she's coming later tonight. Got something to do with meeting some fellow writer friends. Why not do it here? It's your favorite place, right? Her friends have visited the place from time to time, just not as much as her. Writers gathering, huh? I wonder what writers talk about when they're hanging out. I've known them for some years now. She has this habit, you know? If she's said they're friends, it means they're just hanging out normally. But if she said they were brighter friends, they're probably talking about work. Either giving each other feedback on their latest drafts, or sharing and validating ideas. Interesting. They even use code words for meeting up. Oh, it's not like that. She doesn't even realize that's what she uh, says. I just picked up on it. That's even more interesting. You always aren't so observant. It's part of the job. Why is that? People come here every day. Some of them aren't as talkative as others. But their body language can be loud and clear. They can tell you a lot of things. Whether they need a friendly ear, or just want to be alone. It applies to what they're ordering as well. Because, you know, sometimes what people want is not what they need. Huh. Interesting. I feel like that's that's like an intentional little little clue there. No wonder you are not going that way. If you want down, you can get down. Normally, there you go, sir. You're not making a mess again. That's deeper than I would have thought. So, what are you reading for, uh, reading for me now? I won't say. Why? I have to break the charm. <laughs> the hell was that? 
I guess I can say this much. Whatever I say or do to our customers, it's always related to what I'm getting from their body language. Including our interaction now. Including our interaction now. Man. Now I see why you didn't want to share. Even that was enough to make me feel like I'm naked in front of you. By the way, I haven't ordered anything. What are you having tonight? Hot chocolate. Ginger and cinnamon. Ooh. I hear that's a good drink for a better heart. No. Damn. Um, hot chocolate. With Asian. That's, that's coffee. That's coffee? That's coffee. Hot chocolate. A ginger. And cinnamon. Oh, cute! With her heart. That's so cute looking. Excuse me. One second. <laughs> You said ginger and lemon, and I was about to riot. <laughs> Here you go. Mm. You're a pretty romantic person, huh? Spending extra time decorating this drink. Only for special people and special drinks. Leave me alone. Don't be weird. Just because you're sad. You said you were a player in the past. Leave me alone. Don't, don't do anything. Don't say anything weird, dude. Say, Sama. Tell me about yourself. What do you want to know? Anything. How old are you? Old enough to open a coffee shop. <laughs> oh, man. I guess I could... I should say sorry for asking that. It's alright. But that's the only answer I can give. Now you're making me wonder. That's mysterious and suspicious of you, Barissa, me. What should I should ask next? Oops. Who is it? Right. Oh! Hey, girly! You good? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Why are you both looking at me like that? I, uh... You look... Horrible. No, I don't. Really, you don't look so good. Girl, you look like you need to go the fuck to bed. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. Is that what he mentioned sometimes what people want isn't what they need? Is she about to order something, but I need to give her something different? Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm going- Fuck. Creatures? Knock it off, what are you doing? Oh, my phone died. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you killed the box! You're not me. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to echo our dear barista. Yeah, you do. What happened? Also, I need to adjust my headphones. There we go, much better. You'd better ask. You'd be better asking what didn't happen. Because the answer would be proper sleep. Jesus, I need to knock her the fuck out, huh? And decent progress in my draft. You need to rest. Miss my deadline? Hell no. Sorry, Baileys. I won't be able to keep you company. But I have to finish this thing. And for that, I'll need a whole hell of a lot of espresso. I'm not giving you espresso. Let me give you like a warm cup of milk. Isn't that something that people usually like quote unquote drink to go to bed? Are you sure about that? You really should rest best. 
Bailey, do you know anything that knocked her the fuck out? It's something to help you sleep. Espresso. Please. How do I know? There was some old chamomile. I wish I had chamomile! I got coffee, I got green tea, I got regular tea, I got cocoa powder, I got milk. And then we got cinnamon, honey, lemon, mint, and ginger. Is there anything in the brew, brew pad that I could like... Go to all. So bitter heart. Shadows that will help you try to hide. Cafe latte. Caffeine boost dominated by milk. Chino, Italian delight. Uh, Taco B Mirugu. Sweet nourishing healthy chocolate. Cough syrup and cure from sore throats. Dark chocolate. Warm and calming darkness. Not espresso. Galahad is just for um Gala. Ginger chai latte, good to calm yet warm your nerve. Ginger latte, warm evening boost, perfect for a cold evening. Green tea latte, both sweet and savory, with a hint of bitterness for the heart. Um, ginger pr uh, presides over the ground coffee at the bottom of the cup, originally from Indonesia. Marrakech, fresh and healthy drink from Morocco. Sweet and memorable, like summertime blues. Sweet and cool, like outer space. Despite the name, it's a totally American drink. Warm and cozy, just like a day in Barcelona. Hmm. Tea with milk, mixed by pouring the two repeatedly between cups, originally from Malaysia. Okay. supposed to know what to give her. So, let's assess what we have. I'm going to assume it's probably something with milk. And then what would be like a good combo of things? I Not lemon. bitter with what about sweetness those are both sweet mm. not ginger I don't think ginger maybe like cinnamon and honey maybe They put that sweetness to it. I'm gonna try cinnamon and honey because it makes both of those you could. Yeah, both of them. Because at the very least, okay, so here's my game plan. Look it up. <laughs> I could. Um, my phone's dead. But um Okay, here's my thought process. Milk. Usually it's like, oh, a nice cup of milk at bedtime will help, uh, if it's warm, it'll help you go to sleep or whatever. I've never drank just straight up warm milk. It's such an odd thought to me. Um, but that's like a thing people do, right? Um, and then you wouldn't want it bitter if we're trying to knock her out, right? We would want it sweet, kind of soothing. Honey is soothing. And I feel like cinnamon, is, the cinnamon adds sweetness to it, and also makes it warm, I think. Add some warmness to it. So, and I feel like it could be also very, like, a cozy, cinnamon's like a cozy kind of vibe, right? If it doesn't make a specific drink, I can trash it and then try something else. That's my game plan. Oh! Oh! 
It got zinged on it. It's called bedchamber. Was I fucking on to something? Hey, ew. Serve it? There you go. What the hell, dude? This isn't even coffee. Drink. But this isn't what? Drink! Okay. It's in the house. It better be. Ugh. How was the meeting? It was pretty good. I got a lot of work- a good advice. But that also means things. And not a small number of them, mind you. I need to be rewritten. Oh. It's not that bad. Rewriting is part of the process. It's just that. It's just. You're tired as fuck, dude. I'm going to the usual corner. Is she gonna pass the fuck out in the corner, imagine? <laughs> she just passes out. <laughs> Although, thanks to your drink. I'm not sure whether I'll be able to stay awake or not. Oh, is she actually gonna pass out in the corner? She looks horrible. She does. Don't worry about her. She'll finish it. This isn't the first time she's acted like this. No. But this time, the stakes are pretty high. Hmm. So... What brings you here today? I'm not even sure myself. I had no plan tonight. And this place just came in mind. Out of the blue. Is it because subconsciously you were hoping to see Lua here? I'll have to think you're subconscious then. I guess you should. Lua! 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 <laughs> not sure whether I should thank it or not, though. Hi, Lua. Hi, Baileys. Can you fucking talk? How well? You first know you first. <laughs> I was just going to ask, how are you doing? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? I'm good, yeah. You fuckers, come on. Hmm. I think I need to order something first. Oh, of course, of course. Go ahead. Hi, Sama. What are you having this evening, Miss Lua? Gingerbread coffee, please. Gingerbread? Coffee? Would be coffee m milk? Coffee milk? No, ginger, ginger, no, gingerbread is, gingerbread cinnamon, gingerbread, does gingerbread, okay, so gingerbread is cinnamon, not fucking, does it have actual ginger in it? It has to be, right? <laughs> I've never thought about this, I know it has cinnamon in it, because I was going to say coffee, milk, and then ginger, but then I was like, no, it needs cinnamon. <laughs> Uh... Let me see. Coffee. Milk. Cinnamon? Is that anything already? First, let me check. Okay. I don't 
currently have anything. Okay. Coffee, milk, cinnamon. Let's try this. Let's see if this is anything. Shit. Gingerbread coffee. It's like coffee. Ginger cinnamon? Hey, there it goes. That looks so nice. There you go. Here it is. Thank you. My grandma used to make this drink for me. It reminds me so much of her. Reminds me of when I was growing up. My family. Oh! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Here we go! How's work? It's going pretty okay. You? I'm not taking any new jobs at the moment. Because... Well, you know. Yeah. Excuse me while I finish the green tea. Let me just, nah, let me tip it over there. That way I threw it away here in a bit. I get it. You have enough in your savings, right? That's a very Lua thing to ask. But yeah, I do. Thanks for that last annoying job. It went well in the end. It kinda did. They paid me on time, at least. And their pay was amazing. How long are you planning to take a break for? I don't know. So my problems are settled, I guess. Problems are those. So anyway... Um, this is weird. Kids. I'm calling them kids. And that's weird on my behalf, but you know. They're, they're grown-ass adults. I'll tell you this. Don't tell anyone, okay? Not even Sama, who's standing in front of us? Not even Sama. <laughs> oh, this must be fucking awkward. <laughs> okay. So, there's this girl. I love her. We've been going out for a few years. But I'm not really sure where we stand now. How can you not be sure? We had an argument about a week ago. It wasn't anything new. But somehow, things escalated uncontrollably. Why is that? I assume both of us were just tired. Knowing that we're fighting against centuries of tradition. We haven't really talked since our last fight. Leaving things unresolved is not a good idea. But I can't bring myself to start the conversation. Why? Even I'm not sure about that. Pride, maybe? Or tiredness? Or knowing that chances are we won't be able to find the best solution for everyone, anyway. Ailey's. I have a question. Go ahead. What do you think she's feeling right now? To be honest, I don't know. She's not like me, that's for sure. Thankfully. Why? At least, it won't affect her professional life that much. I'm glad I'm a freelancer. It means I can just take a break from work without so many problems. I'm not as professional as her, you see. I think you're wrong. Really. If I were her, I would find it difficult to live life as usual. But I'd put out a lot of masks. Just to hide feelings I was going through. That sounds simple and uncomfortable. It is. But a friend told me once. You gotta do what you gotta do. He must be a pretty cool guy. He is. These two are such fucking nerds. My god. What's next for us, Baileys? I don't know, Lua. Do, 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 do. 
to stop knocking your ball against my against my my my, my situation. I I met some new people this week, including that supermodel. You knew? That girl in the corner told me. Yeah, including that supermodel. And uh, how does that make you feel? Like a fool? What? He said a lot of things that I've been trying to avoid thinking about. A lot of truths. He's a bit like you, you know? Attitude-wise. You'd get along with him. Doubt it. Opposites attract, but similarity breeds contempt. Never heard that before. A lot. I'm a certain hipster elf. And after listening to that guy, what's your stance on, you know, us? I'm not sure, Bailey. It's... What about you, yourself? Had any similar experiences this week? I have, in fact. You met a vampire, and I met a werewolf. <laughs> What are the odds? What are the odds indeed? What did your werewolf say? Hmm... Not much to be honest, but he made a good point about the importance of family. Bailey's... I know I've been stubborn about you wanting to make... You wanting me to make peace with my family. And I know why that's very important for you. But Freya said something that kind of hit me hard. What was that? I was just using you as an excuse to escape my family. And I actually want to do that anyway. Myself. You know me, Baileys. I do. And you know how I feel uncomfortable with people leaving their families. Which makes me an asshole, I guess. I get why you think that way, Lua. Blood is thicker than water. Isn't there more to that saying, though? What should we do? Lua. Yes, Baileys? Please let me leave my family. I'll try to get your family to accept me. Whoa, hey, knock it off. What are you doing? The creatures are being creatures. Sounds like the easier thing to do after a call. But you'll lose your immortality. You'll be an outcast among other elves. An outcast from a bunch of overly pretentious people? Sounds great. You'll live a long time. But you won't have the perfect health and perfect life that's the elven privilege. But it's not a perfect life without you. What if our relationship doesn't last? The blood of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Ah, yes, that's how it goes. Yeah. So, like, the blood of those who love you. Like, uh, in, in this sense, your found family, your friends, the, those close to you, uh, is thicker than the, that of which you were born. What if our relationship doesn't last? You'll have lost everything. You'll blame me. Lua, I will never blame you for anything. If we're talking about who I used to be, that guy would never have blamed himself. A hundred reasons for why something failed, but never anything to do with him. But that won't help but that won't happen with us. You know why? Because I've learned so many things by being with you for 10 years. It made me a better person. So you don't need to worry about any of that. Because right now, you're the most important part of my life. I don't need an immortal life. Because without you, it won't be a life worth living. That's fucking gay! Bailey's... I... I believe in you. <gasps> ah! Go give a little 
switch? <laughs> love of my life! Love hurts! Does that mean I got... Does that mean I finished their story? Does that mean I finished their story? Lua. Aliens. I feel like we're living in a soap opera. It seems so. So, what's our plan? Tomorrow's Saturday. Are we going on a date? I'm going to my parents' place. Oh. And I want you to come with me. <laughs> what? That's so sudden. Did you already have plans for tomorrow? Well, no. It's just... I'm not prepared to meet them. You'll be fine. You don't want to tell them about this first? It's, it'll be alright. Well... They never forbade you from dating other races. They're not big fans of elves, that much is true. But you can prove them wrong. Hmm. Okay, this could be a good first step. It is. It's set then. I don't know what'll happen tomorrow, but we can think about it. And anything else. Later. I'm with you on that. So, does that mean you don't mind me? I had my doubts, but I'm sure now. I can trust you. Ooh, uh, thank you. Are you still staying at Farron's house? Yeah. You're staying with me tonight. Ooh, that's so cute! Huh? What about your roommate? She's away for the weekend. Taking a long weekend getaway until Sunday night. <gasps> Is your roommate Aqua? Or... Either Aqua or, um... Uh, Myrtle? It's one of the other two girlies. I'm going to guess probably Aqua. Bruh! Everything's interconnected! Fate is on our side, it seems. Hey, Samma. Yes? We're leaving. Thank you so much for keeping up with us this past week. The pleasure was mine. We're off then. See you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> oh, hey! You look better. That was pretty intense. Oh, you're back in the real world. I just pretended not to notice. They're like one of the main reasons why I'm writing the story. So I have to see their struggle through it till the end. It's important for the writing, you know. That's cold. What? It's not like that. It's just that... Yeah, that was cold. I'm sorry. You look better than before, though. For now. And I can't tell you how I feel until it's done. And I don't... Who? Whoa! Gala? Are you good? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Hot. <laughs> Freya, get over here. This wolf. Is is that him? I think so. Welcome, sir. Are you crazy? You can't treat a werewolf in a theory like a normal customer. Trust me. He must have his reasons for coming here. He wants the remedy. You can relax, sir. Do you need anything? Something to calm you down, maybe. How the fuck do I make this again? Imagine if I... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How do I make it? How do I make it? I've forgotten how to make the remedy. Oh, Jesus. 
Doodle, doodle, can you look up how to make the Galahad for me? I forgot and I can't look up my phone. It won't let me look. Don't panic. It won't let me check my phone. Wait, is my phone, is my phone, oh, my phone has charged some. Hey, bestie, um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Don't, don't worry, I'm looking up what you need. Tea, milk, ginger, thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go, dude. Here's your... Gala had a fit? One drink to rule him. <laughs> I got an achievement. Oh, he softened. Oh. Goodbye! <laughs> Goodbye, I guess! Seeing the reaction to the drink, 100%. Well, whoever he is. This place survived. Thankfully, yeah. But I think I need to close up shop early. Don't want to cause any more ruckus. I love the music, though. And I need to clean up some of the mess, anyway. Good idea. Can you get back all right by yourself? Manage. Take care on your way back. You be careful too. See you tomorrow. See you. Damn, bestie, what happened? <laughs> what happened? Was that still the night of the moon? The full moon? It was. That was the night of the full moon. So I was right. Ooh, interesting. October 3rd, 2020. Ooh. The Evening Whispers. Saturday, October 3rd, 2020. Weird Steen Company criticized for unfair depictions of werewolf in their latest box office hit. Coachella, uh, Couchella 2020. Do's and don'ts. Atlantic Ambassador in talks with fire regarding immigration. Who's my first customer? Can it be Gala? I would love it, would love it to be Gala. Welcome. Oh, it's Rand. I mean, yeah, of course. Um, I'm also gonna take the opportunity to, like, check my Tomodachi. Oh! I maxed out with Gala. Oh no, I saw that last time. Lua? I read that. Bailey's? I think I read his. Yeah. Hide! That's new! That I, favorite things? The fact that I've seen blood sober. I've been blood sober for 10 years now. What I'm doing with my life. Currently a model. Past stock trader, entrepreneur, venture capitalist. I wanted it to be my werewolf boyfriend. I did too. I hope we see him today. Hurdle! Favorite things? Me time. What I'm doing with my life? As I've started, as I stated before, working on Full Metal Christ, uh, Conflict series. Rachel! Cute! It's a new one. Oh, that's a really cute picture! Hi there, I'm Rachel Florencia. You might have seen me on your screen singing, dancing, or modeling. Working on a new album, especially for you right now. Cute. Neil! <laughs> Neil wasn't there before, that's funny. Whoa, that's so pretty! Look at her! Mermaid from Atlantis and a friendly introvert. Tea lover. 
favorite things, Full Metal Conflict, video games in general, grandma, aww. When I'm doing my life, move to Seattle to achieve my dream of advancing technology as far as we can. Trying to find the place and person where I belong while I while doing what I while doing something I love. Goodness. Trying to find the place and person where I belong. Interesting choice of words there, Madam Miss. Possibly could it be a certain orc? Hmm? The spitballing. Aquas is maxed out, Myrtles is maxed out. Hendry, who's enthusiast and father. So it looks like the only ones we don't have maxed out are Hendry and Rachel? Which they're tied together, so. Interesting. I'm going to take a little quick BRB to let my dogs out, and I'll be right back to play a bit more of this, because I still have plenty of time I can play for, I'd say I can play for another hour. Alright, so, BRB. Hang out with these chill chill tunes, and I will be back shortly, soon, give me like 10 minutes. <laughs> be back in just a moment, guys. Epic! Thank you so much for the raid! And thank you for shouting Epic out! What? Hello! It's good to see you, botanist too! Hello! It's good to see you both! Where's my mouse? <laughs> Let me see. What did I miss? <laughs> Catch up and see what you guys are talking about. Got you while you're away. <laughs> you sly dog, you. Little prank. Welcome in, you guys. Welcome, uh, botanists. Welcome, welcome, Epic and the Raiders. It's good to see you all. Welcome to um, Coffee Talk. You missed. Thank you for shouting uh, botanists out, too. Oh, that is so lovely of you to do. You guys missed a very exciting moment. Um, our resident werewolf friend bust up into the coffee shop in full werewolf mode, going absolutely bonkers. It was insane. Please. <laughs> if you are interested in this game, um, and saw my stream from before, and are curious about it, absolutely go back and watch this VOD, because that moment in and of itself was just absolutely incredible. <laughs> It's good to see you all. Botanist, Epic, how are you both doing? I hope you're well. I hope you ha both had good streams. Good evening, Freya. You look very cheerful today. And it's all thanks to you. What did I do? <laughs> I finally got a good night's sleep last night. Thank God, girl. Good grief. Like, I slept like a log. Probably 12 hours of closing my eyes and not thinking about anything. Good for you! You really needed that. I know. But I had that deadline coming. Doing well! Played more Quest 64. Lost in a desert now. Ooh! Are you still enjoying it? I hope it's still going well for you. Even if you're lost in a desert. <laughs> but I had a, the deadline coming. And I've been pushing myself to finish the draft. But too much, I guess. So, how's it going now? You won't believe this. I probably will. But when I woke up this afternoon, the words just flowed through me like water. And forced crap like I've been writing recently. And not forced crap like I've been writing recently. And that's why taking a break is important. Yeah, it's been fun. Definitely been an experience for my childhood. Good, I'm glad to hear. That's incredible. Hell yeah. I'll catch you next time when you're alive with it. I wasn't able to earlier, so absolutely gotta keep my eyes out for when you're alive again. Yeah, yeah. You need to start lecturing me now. So, what's your plan now? Now, as in right at this moment? I'm planning to go to the bathroom and wash my face. After that, I'll continue writing. Sounds like a solid plan. You know where the restroom is. I brought some snackies with me, so in case you hear a little crinkle of a bag, it's my mango slices. 
Okay, I need something to drink. Freya, you're unemployed. Don't waste your money on coffee shop drinks. I need to walk my dogs, so I will be RV. Yeah, no problem. Have a good walk. That is so weird. Coming from the coffee shop owner. I know. You've been a regular for years. You only need the vibes of the place. Just right here. No, I can't do that. We don't have any customers tonight. Oh, she wants to support us. It's sweet. What I do if this place went bankrupt? It won't happen. How can you be so sure? Just take this tap water and go do your work, okay? We're so certain of things. It makes me question, like, who the barista actually is. But... Werewolf? Gala? See, there's a customer coming right now. So don't you worry about me. Gala! Doodle! Doodle, it's boyfriend! It's the boyfriend! Oh. You wanna talk about last night? Hi, Gala. What's wrong? I know you're a man of few words, but this is maybe pushing it a bit. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. <laughs> Freya. Sima. I'm truly very sorry for what happened yesterday. Ella. Hey, it's alright. No one got hurt, right? The coffee shop's fine. Don't think about it too much, Gala. Yeah, like Freya said. No casualties and no problems with the coffee shop. No. I still need to redeem myself for the mess I made and that scare I gave you. I'm sure there's something I can do. Mm. Why don't you buy something for the lady here? I'm sure she'll appreciate it. Hey, what do you mean? Do you want anything to drink for it? Oh, it's alright, Gala. I insist. You don't have to. Please accept. At least it'll help me stop feeling so guilty. At least a little. Alright, alright. I wouldn't mind a coffee, not an espresso. Uh, but uh, not an espresso, mind you. Something with a little less of a kick. You know how to make sugar and spice? Okay, no, I don't. The one with cinnamon. Have a sugar and spice, please. Yes. Oh, sorry, uh, I don't know what you want from me. What did you say again? mind a coffee so it's a coffee base okay a little less kick so I'm assuming it's like what we got let me see I didn't mean to click that. No. Okay, so. Um. I would assume it has cinnamon in it because she says spice. The sugar part is what's stumping me. Would it just be honey? Don't we have that already? The coffee, honey, cinnamon drink? this like sugar and then spice. Let's see if this comes comes out as anything. Hey, let's go. 
Sugar and spices for the lady with the vices. <laughs> hey. Oh well, I won't complain. Thank you, Gala. Don't mention it. Sima, are you sure there's something I can do for you? You don't have to do anything, Gala. It's fine. But to be honest, I'm curious. What happened yesterday? Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, you usually stay indoors during the full moon, don't you? I usually do. But there was an emergency at the hospital yesterday. What kind of emergency? Mm. The hospital was really packed yesterday. After that announcement, announcement? One saying that a replacement government issued fury sedative will be available soon. Releasing that news on the day of the full moon was just. stupid. So many restless werewolves came asking about the sedative, which isn't ready yet. But the announcement said it wasn't ready. Just that it was coming soon. You think people read the whole article? I only saw the headliner, glanced at it, at the news stall. Then they went straight to the hospital. I don't blame them, though. Finding out that the only publicly available sedative is dangerous? It's difficult for some people. I ended up having to explain to dozens of werewolves. I even had to put some rogue werewolves in isolation rooms. It was that bad, huh? Yeah, to the point that we ran out of rooms to put them in. That's why, at the end of my shift, I left immediately. Normally, I'd have asked a friend to lock me in one of the isolation rooms, of course. But I couldn't, so I rushed right back to my apartment. But it was too late. Thankfully, I was in the area, but I managed to force myself to come to your place. Gala, excuse me for asking this. Yes? But you didn't hurt anyone on the way here, right? As far as I remember, no. I didn't see any blood on my clothes. Yeah, you didn't look messed up at all. That's good to hear. This might sound overly confident, considering what happened yesterday. But I have enough control to make sure I don't hurt anyone. As long as I have something to direct my fury towards. Usually, I end up destroying stuff around me. Or worst case, hurting myself. Oh. Is that... Oh. So, I know you're a veteran, but that also makes me curious about your scars. I feel like... Does that mean they're not just from the war? Oh... Despite all that, I'm so glad that no one got hurt. You're always looking for the positive side, aren't you? Just doing my job. Thanks, both of you. I really mean it. But please, if there's anything I can do to pay back- I mean, if there's anything I can do to help, please don't hesitate to ask me right away. Will do. In the meantime, can I order a drink? Sure. What are you having? Same as yesterday. So the Galahad? Right. I can look at my silly little phone now. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, a tea milk ginger. And soon. Tea milk. Ginger. Yesterday when he was in his werewolf form, so I mean, there you go, dude. Here's your special. Here's your special brew. Thank you. Mm. A drink that saved me. Once again, thank you. <laughs> I love him. We're helping me find this drink. By the way, Gala. Now that you can be 100% sure that the drink is your natural sedative, why don't you put some in a bottle and carry it with you everywhere? That's the plan. It has to be warm, though. Just get a thermos. You can use a vacuum flask, I suppose. Give it a try next full moon. Don't worry, Freya. I'm going to stay at my place for the next full moon. 
I'm not taking any risks. Before I can make sure how effective the remedy is. Phew. Is this your boyfriend? Is it Hyde? Here to check on his man? What the? Oh, it's Rachel. R Rachel? What's going on? Huh. What else? Y your father? Of course. What the hell was he thinking? Is your boyfriend messaging you, Gala? Is it Hyde? Is he checking in on you? Coming backstage at Coachella. Just to get into an argument with my manager. Huh? Before we continue. Oh, so grumpy. Say my cafe latte, please. Absolutely, girly. What is what was that again, girly pop? Oh no, one second. Cafe latte. Uh coffee milk milk. Coffee. Milk. Cafe latte! For the resident meow meow. Your cafe latte is ready. Thanks. How did he manage to get backstage? He told security he was my father. And he messaged me about coming beforehand. Said he was just going to wish me luck. So I told them to let him in, of course. He's still my father. Things were nice at first. Then my manager came. And... <laughs> I don't know why he hates him so much. It's showbiz. I'm mature enough to know what's good or bad for me. What happened after that? Mr. Lester told the security guards to kick him out. He's still allowed in the festival area. I saw him in the crowds. Did the concert go well, at least? Oh, yeah. Other than the arguments backstage, everything was great. I was the first one to play on the main stage. Usually no one pays much attention to whoever's on first. But there were thousands of people in the audience during my session. Nice. So you don't need to be at the event anymore after this? Not really. I did my stage time. And then there was this press conference after my show. After show press conference? Yeah, the pre show was done yesterday. Today was a small one. There were almost a dozen journalists who wanted to interview me, so we decided to just do a mini conference. Good for you! You're totally back in the game, huh? I guess I am. Thanks to Mr. Lester. I would say it's because of you, but your manager's probably worked some of his insolence too. <laughs> so, why are you here? Uh, it's a dad, of course. I told him to come here this evening. We really need to set this uh, set things straight. He needs to stop messing with my manager so much. And because this evening is the only time we can meet, I can't go to the party Mr. Lester is hosting. Oh, is it? Is it because you're uh, you're, you're, you're you're a kiddo? party. He's hosting a party for the VIPs and artists he manages at a club in Belltown. Is it okay for you to go to the party without a guardian? I'm 18, remember? I'm an adult. Yeah, but you can't drink. Yeah, but you can only enter some clubs if you're 21. Not this time. Because Mr. Lester's manager and... Because Mr. Lester's manager... That's a weird sentence. He has Mr. Lester's manager, and it's in his party. Hmm. I'm not sure about that. It's true. No, I know he can do that by using his name. But I don't think he should do that with you. Why? I'm an insult- No, you're not, Rachel. Have you ever been to one of Lester's parties? Well, no. You have? Not personally. I've heard stories. What stories? He knows how to party. That's good then. Mm, that's not necessarily a good thing. Knowing how to party might mean something else entirely. Er, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll find out. Especially if you keep Lester on as your manager. Personally, I don't mind wild parties, but inviting an, under an underage person to his party? That might be a bit too far. Well, well, uh huh? 
Oh, it's Papa! Papa Kitty! Papa Meow Meow! Oh, he got a little moustache in his little kitty form! We finally got to see him! <laughs> That feel when your dad, who is a cat, shows up all beat the hell up. Man, I need to cook me some food, but I'm kind of tired. Do you have anything quick you can make, Epic? Rachel, is that Mr. Hendry? Yes. Dad. What happened? So can you get a cup of milk for him, please? Just milk? Just milk. Look at this fucking man. Look at him. <laughs> make a screenshot of that. I'm gonna make some eggs with sausage. Something easy. Ooh, nice. Milk. Just milk. Here. Oh. Thank you. Dad, please hold on. Somebody help me call an ambulance, please? They're on the way. Damn, Gala was fast. I contacted the hospital. Thank you. I also contacted our Nekomimi expert personally. She's off shift right now, but she's also on the way. Thank you so much. I don't know what might have happened without your help. So I'll mention it. Thank you, Gallup. That's what you could do. That's how you could help. Here they come. I'll go with you. Okay. Damn. Oh boy. It was really something, huh? Yeah. Two days in a row. An emergency at our place. Or your place. Well, at least some people think of your place as their go-to when they need help. You're right. It's not every day you look at things from that uh, from the bright side. <laughs> well, I'm one of your coffee shop dis uh, disciples, right? So I kinda understand that. I hope Hendry's alright. Me too. At least he's in good hands now. What's your plan for the rest of the night? Well, that was all pretty hectic. But I need to continue writing. Take your time. And take your time and place. <laughs> oh, I guess like by her little corner. Take your time and place then. Will do. Doing good. Hmm. Sorry, my creatures were messing with a box. I was trying to make sure they weren't tearing it up. Alrighty. Oh. Sunday, October fourth, twenty twenty. They even. Oh, his booty's out. The Evening Whispers, Sunday, October 4th, 2020. Police raid on private Couchello after party is biggest drug and sex related bust of the year. See, Rachel, this is why you don't go to clubs with grown men. Fight broke out during Coachella. Culprits in police custody. Ass out, Sunday! <laughs> Dis uh, despite the arrest, Couchello will go on. What's up, Rhea? Is that gonna be Rachel? Welcome. Oh, it's fucking Georgie. Who has only ordered one drink and has come here multiple times. Fucker. Hey, Pop. Good evening, everyone. Everyone safe and sound or not? So far, so good, officer. The cop who's supposed to be watching the area hanging out in a coffee shop? 
I'm not so sure about that. Hey, I'm working right now. I just love multitasking, you know? That requires skill. Taking a break and working at the same time, you mean? You know it. That's an oxymoron. That's why I said it requires skill. Anyway, Sam, I really need an espresso. Wake me. Wake tonight. Alright, dude. Can I just give him that bedtime thing? Knock him out. I want a cannoli. So bad! <laughs> Yo, where did that come from? Did you just suddenly, like, out of the blue, like, you're, you just had, like, a brain blast and wanted a cannoli? Or is that prompted by something? I wish I could provide you with a cannoli, my love. If I could, I would. An energetic, uh, an energetic espresso to keep our officer upright on patrol. Heh. <laughs> you and your sense of humor. Your espresso- Your espressos are always out of this world. Definitely better than mine and my wife's. It's not a competition officer. Heh. <laughs> it is for her. She thought if she could make a better one, I'd stop coming to this place so often. That's not happening anytime soon. So, anything special today? Surprisingly, no. Gotta make sure this place is safe, though. What are you grinning about? I mean it. You were here the last two days, right? Yeah, I was. And some crazy things happened here. And two days in a row. As if the gods were trying to give me first-hand experience to use in my story. I was thinking about coffee and the coffee shops, which got me to thinking of the kinds of pastries you could serve there, which made me think about cannolis, which made me remember there's a cannoli downstairs that I could totally devour. <gasps> Go pick the cannoli. Go get it. Re real estate. Do it. Satiate your hunger. Answer to the call of the wild, the wild being the hunger for the cannoli. The carnal urge to devour a cannoli. Still fretting over your story, eh? Well, the deadline for my draft is getting nearer. Oh, yeah. How's it going? Quantity wise, it's shipping up pretty well. Hunting the cannoli. <laughs> Quality wise. Honestly, pretty confident. Best of luck, then. Do you have any updates about the last two days of chaos? Or the werewolf case? I spoke to Gallo about it. What? Are you going to arrest him? Some officers at the pre precinct were talking about it. But in the end, we agreed not to do it. Because he really helped us a lot that night. And we asked the folks in the hospital. And some other people in the area. Without him, we'd have had a lot more problems. It helped a lot, getting most of the werewolves safe in the hospital. Too bad he couldn't walk himself in there. Thankfully, he didn't hurt anyone. So, those who'd rather contain him can't do anything, anyway. Phew. I'd be pretty mad at you if you did arrest him. Hey, you can't mad at me when you saw anything. I know. What about Rachel's dad? Any idea what happened? I'm not too sure myself. Most of it didn't happen around here. What? Yeah, it seems like it happened out near Couchilla. That's a long way away. I mean, it's not actually that far, but you wouldn't be able to walk it. Not in that state. So far, that's all I know. 
Oh dear. I see five. Rachel! Rachel! Rachel? Is Mr. Hendry alright? For that. Can I have a cup of hot chocolate? Dark. Yeah. Absolute wrong button. Absolutely girly pop. Dark chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Okay. Also, who's Tomajacho updated? Rachel's! All of my family cats milk and you. I've been dancing, singing, and trying to achieve my dreams since I was 13. Not stopping now. Cute. Hendry! Family and music, trying to be a better father while running on a record, running a record store. Okay. Your hot chocolate's ready. Thank you. That's going to be fine. You woke up this afternoon. Thanks to Mr. Gala. He got help fast enough to stop things getting worse. Father and daughter, the bell. Oh! I guess that's the end of their story. I just got an achievement called Father and Daughter. He got help fast enough to stop things getting worse. He's doing okay, though? It'll take a few more days before he finally he fully recovers, but no permanent injuries we need to worry about. That's good to hear. I know, but still, it's all because of me. Sorry, I didn't listen to him. When all he wanted to do was protect me. Rachel, don't blame yourself for this. Please don't take offense. But is it okay for you to leave your father alone in the hospital? His friends are there at the moment. And I can't face being stuck in a room with a bunch of people I don't even know right now. Besides, I really needed to get away for a bit. So I told Dad I'm going to visit Coffee Talk and get some fresh air. He's okay with that? He understands. He always does, I guess. Miss Rachel? What really happened last night? I got into a fight with some thugs. He heard them talking about me. In a very suggestive, perverted ways. Ooh. He didn't like that, of course. So he walked into his cab for him. I started a fight with the thugs. There'd be more. Some people wouldn't see what his human form looked like and link him directly to me. Some cops went to the crime scene. They found some eyewitnesses to testify, and they managed to find the bugs. Or are they fans of yours? No. It's even worse. They work for Mr. Lester! What? Oh boy. The reason why they- the reason why it didn't take long for the cops to find them was because they were at the fucking party. It was because they were already under arrest. Because the party went too far last night. Yep. Put that in the morning paper, really. Whoa. How did it all connect up? And there were Mr. Lester's bodyguards. They were chilling after the show, having a big party before the big one. And you know about guys and locker room talk, right? Yeah. Well, that's what they're doing. And I was a topic of discussion. Ugh. So there's that. I'm sorry to hear that. And you were right about his party. I'm glad I wasn't there. Once again, I owe dad for her. Hey, it's okay. The most important thing right now is that you're safe. And your dad made it through. You should have listened to him. He might be out of touch. But he's still way more experienced than me. And he's my father. How much mom was here? What she know what to do? She know what to say to dad when he's recovered. And you know what? I'm sure you'll know what to do. You're an adult, remember? 
<laughs> but I don't know. All I know is I have to be there for him when... That's it. That's all you need to... That's all you have to do. It might be weird to hear it about... Hear about it. Uh, it might be weird to hear it about something coming from Freya. But she is right. Be there when he needs you, Rachel. And whenever you need a breath of fresh air, come here and relax for a while. Guys. Thank you. Get in a fresh air for one day. I'll go back to the hospital. Before she leaves, I've just started to wonder something. Something about her design. You know how she's a Neko Mimi? She's a cat. She's got cat features, right? She's got little kitty cat ears and kitty cat tail. So her ears are on the top of her head. Is that her only set of ears, or does she also have human ears? She had two cat ears or four ears. see their ears and injuries. She also doesn't have human ears. Are you sure about that? She's just smooth on the side of her head. Also, hold up. Fix this. Okay. I'll be, uh, I'll be heading back to the hospital now. Thank you for the update, Miss Rachel. I wish your father a speedy recovery. Thank you, Santa. Bye, Rachel. Be careful. Stay safe. Man. What a weekend. Pretty crazy, I know. Anyway, I've got to continue my patrol. It's been a pretty weird weekend. safe around here. But even with that, never let your guard down, okay? No problem, officer. Did you ever give cop man milk? Oh shit, no! <laughs> ah, I forgot! I'm so invested in what's happening that I completely forgot I wanted to dunk on him. No problem, officer. Thank you for uh, checking up on us, Officer Georgie. Okay, man. See you. I wonder if he'll come back. Shit! I know he's in the second game. In the second episode of this. So at the very least, if I don't manage to do it in this first part, this the first game, we can do it in the second part. Are you gonna leave us well, Freya? I don't think so. I've had enough rest. And I have stories to write. You're not tired? Definitely not. In fact, I think I can get it done today. Hmm, alright. I'll bother you then. Oh, you never a bother. Besides, this whole book project, it never existed without this place. And you. So, thank you. The pleasure was mine. Now, I'm sure you shouldn't spend any more time on chit chat. You've got a book to finish. <laughs> no problem, boss. Am I going to get an achievement? At the end of her story? No, at the end of her story would have to be like us knowing what happens with the book, right? Right, right. It's a quiet moon! Two weeks later! Hold on. Is this the end of the game? So I was gonna do one more day and end it. Is this the end of the game? Hold on. Poppy Talk died. Story walker. So that was just October like 4th or 5th, right? Um, 
Holy shit, I think this is the end of the game. Oh no, I think this is the end of the game! Two weeks later. The Evening Whispers! Sunday, October 18th, 2020! Couchella Festival proves to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. More women have spoken out and claimed Morris Lester lied. Initial reports indicated possible her herpes? Outbreak at Couchella! <laughs> Hello! You're finally here! Hey, all. Hey! Um, hey. Yo. Hi, Freya. Huh. Someone's feeling happy today. Of course. Did they... They approved it! Did you book? Your draft? We're so happy for you. Congrats! Oh my. Do you know how happy I am? To take your expression, I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rapturously. You're goddamn right. Oh my god, oh my god. How did they react to the draft? Surprisingly. They liked it. That's amazing. I know, right? I couldn't believe it either. They told me if the book sells well, they'll definitely sign me for a second book. I'm so happy for you. Anyway, whatever happens to the book now, I can take things a little slower. Because they gave me a year to finish it. Oh, I love this for you, girl. There's a feedback session every month. Sounds professional enough. Of course. They are the biggest publisher around. Enough about me. How's the coffee shop been doing? It's been great. I've had a lot of new customers lately. And some old timers, of course. I heard Hyde's back from his trip to Korea. Oh yeah, that's why we weren't seeing him. He was gone in Korea. Oh, he was gone while Gala um, went through his fury. Yeah, he brought us some gifts back. Cute, but he didn't get any for me. I'm not sure, but he did say he always gives gifts directly. Gift giving, the old-fashioned way, huh? Eh? How about you? Things are great. Last time I saw you was for your mini break. Yes, we decided to go to Couchella. Really? Wow! That event was a mess. <laughs> yeah, three hours at the festival is enough for us. So where did you go after that? We ended up in Port Townsend. How was that? I enjoyed it. I never, know a, never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. Is it the, is it the cute one? The pretty mermaid one? Gay, 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 homosexual, gay, gay, homosexual. Ah, oh, that's so cute. Wait, was that Rachel's? Was Rachel's different? Rachel's is different. Oh, cute. This game is so cute. I know. And get this. There's a second game, Doodle. There's an episode two to look forward to. With new characters! Oh yeah, I saw your new profile picture, Aqua. You both look so cute! Oh man. <laughs> Thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No. It was at Max. Oh, the event! The game event. We had a Japanese-style photo booth there. So I forced her to take a picture together. We were at Max too, Mom? Yeah. I helped her out a bit with the booth. Thank you. You don't have to keep thanking me. By the way, have any of you heard from Neil? Yeah, where is Neil? I haven't seen him in a bit since he helped uh, work here. No. Not me. And he didn't send two postcards to the coffee shop. Later. Yeah, one's from Couchella. Oh yeah, I forgot once again that he went to Couchella. It's not even that far away. I said the postcard. Hard to tell with them. What about the second one? 
It's from New York. Oh shit, they went to New York? What? What are they doing in New York? Beats me. Working on their mission, maybe. <laughs> yeah, probably. We extend more of a chance there. Anyway, guys. Where are you leaving for the night? Oh, come on. So soon? We were here for hours before you arrived. And we need to work tomorrow. Fair enough. Take care, of you. Uh, take care on your way, then. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See you, Sima. See you around. Goodbye, my favorite lesbians! They look queer than when I first met them. There you go. It's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with in such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyway. Bailey's, where's Lua? Sorry if it seems I'm ignoring you, Bailey's. No worries. I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. It's late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. In fact, after ten years together, we're finally moving in together next month. <laughs> Oh, congrats! But I thought Lua lived with her flatmate. And we're moving to a new place. She got promoted recently. And your company's providing her with an apartment. Fuck oh, yeah. Hell yeah, Lua. Wow, she must be a really big deal in her com in her office. Well, she definitely earns more than me. That's not saying much, Bailey's. <laughs> you shouldn't say that to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes. Lua! Queen! Bailey's, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect to take so long. I thought it would be done by... Honey. It's alright. Freya and Sam have been keeping me company anyway. Oh, hey Freya. And Sam. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I would say things are great. But not as great as you two lovebirds. You told her already? about the moving in part. What else? What else is there to tell? Lua, do you have a little... Do you perhaps have a little shiny object on your finger? Could that be the other part of this? <laughs> As you've heard, we're going to be move... We're going to move in together next month. We're going to move in together next month. Where is it? Not far. I mean, the company provided the place, so they want to cut my commuting costs as much as possible. Well, that's thoughtful of them. It means they don't mind to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm working overtime. Oh yeah, that too. It also means we get to visit this place more often. That's a good point. We owe this coffee shop a lot anyway. Don't mention it. I have a question for both of you. Okay, I guess not. I guess she was just... Uh, 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 elaborating more on the move. Go on. Last time we met, I believe you two were going to introduce Bailey's to your parents. How did it go? Man, her father didn't kill me, at least. Well, at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And at least they didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. It was a good start. It was definitely a good start. Anyway, Bailey's, we, uh, we need to go now. Or we'll miss the intro again. You folks going somewhere? Yeah, we're going to watch the midnight screening of Full Metal Conflict! The movie of uh, Myrtle's Game. I didn't take you to for someone who likes FMC. Or, my bad. I didn't take you for someone who likes FMC, Lua. I don't, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoyed watching me play the game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. Too bad I didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now, Bailey's. She worked on the game. Oh dear. Oh well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again. One of these days. You probably will. Now go on, you love birds. You don't want to miss the movie. Alright, catch you up uh, catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, Sama. Enjoy the movie. 
Okay, where are the boyfriends? We're seeing everyone tonight, it seems. Where are the boyfriends? Hyde, Gala. There they go. I'm so happy for them. They've still got a long way to go. And probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yeah. I'll you write their story. As it is. It's beautiful enough. And it has enough drama. <laughs> That's one way to put it. Anyway. What's that look for? You told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? You only skipped coming for ten days. What do you expect? Come on. They played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well, here's some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me. Where should we start? <gasps> what about Gala and Hyde? Lua visits this place more often now that they live nearby. Ah, the last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. They are getting married! Ah! Hyde returned from his trip to Korea and brought gifts. Some are more special than others. Whoa! He said he's considering moving back to Seattle, if his agency allows it. What's with those handcuffs, my boy? Aqua continues her work with the university. She's still working on small indie games. The difference is, she's not alone now. <laughs> Neil! Neil! The only news about their superhero reading mission are the two postcards they sent me. <laughs> Rachel! Rachel's back at the recording studio, preparing for her first solo album. With Papa! She found a new manager. Someone who made the news as a legend coming back to the industry. Aww. Book signing. Hey, and finally, Freya. She finished her book, got published, and have some signing sessions. It was a massive success. Sold out even after the fourth... Oh, God. Fourth something. Aww. And we talk. That was so cute. was really sweet i was thinking we would have at least like this stream and then like a fourth stream out of this i didn't think i would finish it tonight <laughs> oh me oh my now i have to okay so let me look at my calendar what is next monday next monday is october isn't it it is hmm Goodness. Pardon you. <laughs> Don't come over here and cough. Stop. What are you doing? Um, okay. So next Monday, I was planning to play this part of Coffee Talking, episode two back to back. But since October crept up really fast. Um, develop my cats. Ogie Bailey's Lua TJ and Tofu Bailey's and Lua are the name of the developer cats. Oh, um, like I was saying, um, since October is just literally next week. God, that's precious. I know. Um, I think I will be putting a pause on episode 2 of Coffee Talk. And we will be doing that later. And next week, next week's Monday, I'm going to find some sort of, like, Spadookie game. I might ship the morning Monday stream so it's late. And you. That's cute and gay. Thank you for making this wonderful game. It was super sweet and wholesome. And lovely. What? There's a spark more than friends? Hold on. <laughs> what the fuck's happening? What? Who the fuck are you? Hold on now. Who are you? First and foremost, I just got an achievement who said that said there's a spark more than friends. Who was that for? Video game. Second of all, 
the credits are done, who are you? Why are we still in the game? Welcome. Hello, Sama. Why do you know my name? Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? I'm sure this is your first time here. Of course, I've been here before. In fact, I've worked here before. Neil? What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed. A bit too much. I've learned a lot about how you to live with your people since then. This is fucking Neil? What? That's what they're implying, right? What happened? I've learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. I assume it was a success then. Multiple successes. Damn, he got around. Or they got around. Why is he hot? What's with that? What's with the new look then? Just trying to blend in. It seems like an Earthling immigration agency is after me. That's yeah, it's Neil. That's it's Neil. Now that you mention it. Somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? Not long after your second visit here. Was he a bald guy in a suit? Yeah. The FIRE agent. You've seen him? Yes. Thankfully, I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you can drop the act in front of me. What? What do you mean? What does that mean? So he finally noticed. Notice the what? What? Notice what? This is making me. This is making me so anxious. <laughs> What's happening? To think that such power can be born from our kind. Our kind? Such power? You're good with your act, though. I guess you were a weird little freak the entire time, so I was on to something! It took a few tries, but there are some timelines where- TIMELINES?! Where I- Where I forgot to pretend that I don't have some knowledge of certain stuff. Huh, interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Is this important? Hold on. Hold on a minute. I'm taking a picture of this. Then, it was the first time Rachel visited this place. And the last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Oh, there was another one right after Freya got her draft approved. And you show it to me. Assuming you know how I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. You've beaten the main story of the game, but you haven't seen everything yet. Interstellar support? Is that it? Is this canon? Whoa, now! Those are some interesting achievements! Hold your horses. Hold up here. We're- we're- There's a spark! It was from the- They were- <gasps> There was something with them. With Gala and Hyde. Well, I mean, kind of considering that Hyde brought home- some fuzzy handcuffs, so, um, you know. Um, where were they? The ones that we just got. Is that the top? Is this it? it is this canon? The interstellar support extraterrestrial intern. Huh. So... If I hit play game, what does that do? Ah, oh, shit. Shit. Help. 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 I 
my world, my world's boyfriend, boyfriend. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. So. Let me see something. What do I need to? Okay, so. It was four instances. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then it was the first time Rachel visited this place. And the last one involved you on your second visit. Oh, and there was another one right after Freya got her draft approved. Progress bar. Okay, here it is. There's one secret achievement that we need to finish off before we move on. Of those four days that were mentioned on the last day, we need to go back and replay them. Okay, day one. What is it again? You can choose to fast forward through the dialogue if you want. There will be certain differences in dialogues this time around. You won't be able to fast forward through those. Okay, so day one is 22nd. Why is there such- why is there deeper lore to this coffee game? Seems the same. Writer, not editor. So I'm used to taking things slow. Writer's block again. Espresso. Okay, let me see what the guide says. Well, if the guy would stop freaking out, I'm here. Hold on. Oh, the... You're probably not going to hear anything at the current moment because I'm looking it up on my computer on my other screen. Here we go. Um. Okay, so we can just do all of this and then go back to um, the main menu. So that's cool. Okay. So, let me see something. Hold on. Take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay. So, it's day one. So, just usual. Freya. Espresso. Espresso. Okay. Okay, chop shot of espresso. Just look for my only customer tonight. Aroma. Exactly what I 
needed. Hmm. Oh, are we? You're about to tell me about your meeting in the elevator. Oh, yeah, that. Huh? Wait. I didn't tell you that. Yeah, I was about to say, wait a minute. How did you know? Well, I was just guessing. No way a guess could be that specific. You're being very suspicious. Maybe. Ugh. You have another news source. Totally. Yep. I have no comment. I knew it. This is new, but I haven't told anyone about this. Wait, was it someone who saw me entering the elevator in a hurry? Give your eyes all you want. I won't comment on anything. Okay, okay. I understand the importance of keeping sources confidential. So pretend you never said anything. Thank you. Phew! What the fuck is happening? So yeah, where were we? We're plan to do something. Yeah, that. It's not that I hate writing stories in the newspaper, you know. But it seems like the right time for something bigger. So a novel? Yeah. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. Okay, things go awry. <laughs> <laughs> Did I say something wrong? This is all diff the same. Oh, you were right. You said something I should have thought about. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm hmm. This is different. I mean, same. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and we're like, what the fuck? Why would you do that? Okay. Oh, here we go. Ouch. Okay, here we go. This is how I fast forward. It wasn't, it was being weird. Okay, so she just wants triple chocolate. not supposed to fast forward through anything that's new. Okay, cool. There's a weird little bug on my screen. No, chocolatey goodness. Go away, bug. It's Bailey's. Yep. And he's gonna want cappuccino with latte art. Cappuccino is coffee, coffee, milk. There you go, dude. And then latte art. Let's see what I do my phone.
Vega Bailey's. Ah, oh, you're still rude. Got my poor little art. But she leaves, go work on her stuff. They chat. Argue about their family stuff. Okay. Help, help. Okay, there it goes. Do you have any more? I'm gonna calm me down. Forgot the gas for alcohol. Green tea latte. Green tea and milk. milk. Art. You didn't ask for it, but I'm going to give it to you. It's the night sky! There you go. Okay. Alright. Depression? I know. Also, doodle, the fact that you call the horny spaceman hot is still crack- or space person hot is still cracking me up. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. I need to fast forward. I need to go to a different day. Let me out, let me out. God, let me out. Main menu. Listen. <laughs> So the next one is the 24th when Rachel first shows up. Let's see. Let's go over here. They were pretty okay. <laughs> Myrtle. I know her name. I already know her name. Interesting. Okay, um, let me look. So it's just milk, honey, honey. Milk, honey, honey. There you go, queen. says it's not supposed to it says you can't skip through the new dialogue and it wasn't letting me earlier so um, I'm maybe the fact that we're such a we're, we were a little freaked the entire time is why we're so certain that the coffee shop is not going to go anywhere like it's not going to go bankrupt or anything We were something similar to Neil. And Neil's from space, so we're from space?
make him shit his pants in episode two, don't worry. time to thank Miss Rachel. We've tried to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this, like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. I agree with Officer Georgie. You don't need to make a snap decision. I'm sure you and Mr. Hendry will find- I don't know his name yet. I'm not supposed to know what his name is yet. I'm sure you and Mr. Hendry will find some common ground together. Officer Georgie, right? Well, I was. I wanted to talk more about the problems. But now, now I would recommend just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. Interesting. Choco, Chocobi Miruki, Miruku. Okay. The next day is the 29th, which is a gala and hide day, and that's when Neil shows up. game. 56. Oh, it's Neil's second visit, that's right. Yeah. Okay. And then after this day, I need to load the game again and select day 14, October 18th play that day. Okay. It's the 29th. <laughs> Gaze. Alright. Um, you want your Galahad. Milk. Ginger. I did. That's what I needed. How about you, Mr. Hyatt? I'm just gonna fast forward. Um, you want tea lemon honey. Mint summer night's dream. Explaining some stuff, I'm sure. 
meal. Yeah, there they are. Oh, this is new. Good evening. It's nice to see you again, Neil. We are also glad to see you, Barista. Although, we do not think we have told you about the name we use on Earth. Again? Um, it's just that, you know, you kind of remind me of our first man on the moon. Oh, really? We have chosen the right name then, because that was where our name came from. This has happened three times now. Okay, I've had my food, now I can finally relax. Nice! Epic, it's good to see you back. I don't know if you've been lurking this whole time, but um, if you haven't, we finished the main game! The credits rolled and now we are going back to, because apparently there is some sort of secret ending. Kinda sorta? Yeah, apparently there's a secret ending. And we're, I'm trying to get that. That has something to do with us being a weird little freak. And the entire time we were some... Some sort of form of being. Not just a regular barista. Yeah, I hope you all- I do- I, as well, hope you had a good meal, Epic. This has happened three times now. You really are hiding something, huh? What are you talking about? Oh well. Is that your real name? Oh, of course not. Okay. Now we fast forward. Um, Neil wants the Milky Way. That's milk, honey, and tea. Mint. Thanks, the eggs and sausage came out great. Good to hear! Nice! Milky Way. Drink it with their finger. They're gonna love it. Boo woo fingies. Their helmet's full of piss. Okay. Let's just get through this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So I have to wait for the day to be over. Because it says once the day is over, I, that's when I'm supposed to go back to the main menu. Okay, you two. Beep, 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 beep. Okay. This day. Now we go back to the main menu and load the load the 18th, which I think was the end of the game. So I guess now Neil is going to show up in the bar at the end. Cafe, whatever you know. I meant 18th. Yep. 18th. I'm gonna replay that day. Talk once again to Neil and. Play out the dialogue. So then the credits will roll and you will unlock an achievement. Alright. Well, let's do this again. Two weeks later. That's all the same. All, all the besties are here. And here. Assume that I can fast forward. It's been to me. Okay. These cutie cuties. We'll go see their movie. New! 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 By the way, I haven't seen your final draft. May I read it? Sure. I brought an extra copy. Let's see. Hmm. The main character is a time traveler? Us? Subtly. I imagine it just enough to raise suspicion. Where did you get the inspiration for that character? You know the answer. Why would I? Either you're smart enough to get what I mean, or you already know what my answer is. Ugh. I don't think 
think about it too much. It's only a story. Anyway. What's that look for? I told me about the other friends here. How are they doing? Okay. Interesting. Alright, then we're gonna get this again. Cute. The boyfriends. Dear God, Hyde. <laughs> ah, I love them. Neil. Okay, same thing about the postcards and their mission. It'd be really funny if this part, like, was different and funky. Rachel and her dad. It's a massive success, sold out even after the fourth printing, so it might be adapted to a movie, and she's working on a second book! Okay, nice! I didn't read that part last time. Okay! Can I... Can I skip the credits? No, okay. Yes, I'm safe to skip them. And we're back! So, she found out, huh? Clever as usual. And some timelines. Yeah. God of caffeine! Every drink needs a god. What? And some timelines. Yeah. But I have to ask you. Why? Why what? Why do all this? Opening the cafe. Connecting people. I just like to make sure things go all right. Besides, yes, I also have to make sure that I'll exist on Earth. <laughs> That's one hell of an important task, indeed. It is. What? Bruh. What? Is Neil your dad? <gasps> Whoa, wait a minute. No, no way. No way. That can't be what they're implying. No. Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh. I Oh my god. I am so confused and intrigued by this video game. Why in the fresh hell, my dude? What? Ugh. Also, apparently there's an achievement I'm looking now. That's, uh, um, something about, it takes an hour. That's funny. Just like Stray. Um, oh, sorry. I clicked off. But yeah, well, that was Coffee Talk in its entirety, essentially. From beginning to end, and the bonus secret ending. Um, I'm glad I did that because that was insane. I'm even more curious and intrigued by what the second episode could hold. Um, I know there are new characters in that, and there are uh, reoccurring characters. I know I've seen um, I've seen Georgie in the cover art, and I think I've seen um, I think I've seen Lua. I'm not entirely sure, but I know there are some characters that come back, so that's exciting. Please look forward to that. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna do for next Monday because I'm wanting, I think, for next Monday uh, and for the rest of like October, uh, my Monday streams are going to shift from the morning streams to night streams so that way we can get a better vibe 
for uh, the spooky times, um, which I think will be extremely fun, and I'm looking forward to this immensely. I think it's going to be incredible. I have so many plans. I have so many little games picked out for our um, spookathon, if you will. Can't. Yay, I can't do morning streams! Cool! Then this will be wonderful planning on my behalf. You'll be able to make it to more. Hell yeah! Um, I love doing my morning streams, but for the spooky games, I don't really think that suits them, you know? But I have some very neat games picked out in a little, like, bundle of sorts for um, our spookathon, as I'm calling it, as I'm coining it now. Well, I've been coining it in private with others, but you know. I'm quoting it publicly now. <laughs> um, I am very excited to get into those. Even if we do not finish the ones that I really want to play during October, I will be carrying those over into November and wrapping up anything that I need to wrap up in November. So have no fear if we don't finish something. It will be carrying over to November. I've already got that planned out in my head. And then after that, we'll, we'll go back into like the autumnal kind of fall games. Because I really want to play, um, we're going to finish up, um, Fall of Porcupine, we're going to play Coffee Talk 2, and I want to play Beacon Pines as well. That's like a mystery kind of autumnal game. And yeah, I'm already going to have to carry some spooky games in November because of my whole capture card ordeal. Ugh. I'm so sorry about that again, Epic. Please keep us updated on what happens with that. And hey, we're in the same boat. We're gonna have extended spook uh, spooky times. So that'll be fun. But yeah, thank you guys so much again for joining me on this wonderful time with this wonderful, wonderful game. I loved it so much. The characters are so well done. Um, the art style. Oh, I love the art style so much. And the music. Ugh. And I did not expect it to be as deep as it was and have as much um little like lore to it i guess you would say considering the secret ending that was surprising i wonder i wonder do you think episode two is gonna have a secret ending if it does we'll we'll do it just like we do with this one that's freaking excited to look for it i'm just, ah words i'm looking forward to it um thank you everyone who came and joined for tonight's bonus stream and final stream of coffee talk um uh, i appreciate it Thank you so much. It means the world to me for those who hung out and chatted, hung out and lurked, whatever it may have been. I appreciate you all the same. Epic, doodle, botanist. Uh, I'm not forgetting anyone, am I? Um, Finn was busy, so Finn, I know Finn wasn't here. But yeah, epic, doodle, botanist. Thank you all so much for dropping by and chit chatting and chat for a little bit. I appreciate you guys. Um, I will see you all tomorrow epic you especially um for shotgun farmers over on finn's channel which is going to be an incredibly fun time i'm sure it's gonna be chaos with the memoria stream crew um me epic finn shelly Sh uh, zelty it's gonna be fantastic i look forward to having all of us in the same game together it's gonna be great um that'll be at 10 p.m est over on finn's channel so please do come check us out there it's gonna be a wonderful time. We would love to have you hanging out with us. And after that, you will be seeing me live again on Friday at my usual Friday time, 8 p.m. EST, with more Fall Porcupine. So until then, my friends, please do take care. Go do whatever you need to do. Eat, drink, take it easy. And I will see you all next time. I love you guys. Sweet dreams. Goodbye.